Wing Chun is one of the most famous martial arts in the world. Every year, people from every corner of the planet flock to its birthplace, Foshan, on a pilgrimage to explore the roots of Wing Chun. In 2021, the Foshan martial art of Wing Chun was selected as a National Intangible Cultural Heritage Representative Project. Celebrities like Robert Downey Jr., Bruce Lee, and all have mastered this style of Chinese martial art. With its centuries-proven techniques, it's used not only in movies, but also in professional competitions, and it's called Wing Chun. I traveled all the way to Foshan, to the city that is famous for its martial arts culture, and especially famous for its Wing Chun schools. So what's so special about it? Let's start our Kung Fu journey right now. I'm really excited about meeting Dong Chonghua because he's three times world champion of Wing Chun. And he's also a second generation inheritor of the IP man Wing Chun, a man we have to learn so much. So let's go meet him.张老师你好 走位啊,手法在装上打出来 也可以通过打木人装来练习 Whoa! That was some speed there, guys. Did you see that? Two dominant figures are largely responsible for the global fame of Wing Chun. King of Kung Fu, Bruce Lee, and first-generation Grandmaster, Ip Man. Ip Man is in Hong Kong, he has a lot of land. He has a lot of land, he has a lot of land, he has a lot of land, and he has a lot of land. 国外那些很多 所以我当时其实学永春也是因为李小龙我才去学永春。我特别喜欢看那个李小龙的采访。Be water, my friend. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless. Kung Fu films about Bruce Lee and Ip Man, the master and the grandmaster, along with many others, have introduced Wing Chun to a modern audience. 
明星，比如说 Robert Downey Jr.， 还有 Sylvester Stallone。斯泰龙。对对对，都喜欢练咏春拳。我们都看过斯泰龙电影。呀，很帅，对吧？为什么他们会学？孙晴，他不单单是打得好看，嗯，然后他实战性很强，很实用。So there's no doubting the global appeal of Wing Chun today, but what about its origins and what is its association with Fu Shan? Wing Chun 拳就是成为一个非常成熟的舞种之前，最早是什么情况？其实永春我们叫做南方拳。里面的拳法、技法、手法，嗯，其实都是我们传统武术几千年传下来的。其中有一个或者几个人把这个拳法再总结、整理出来。Wing Chun originated in the Qing Dynasty. It's named after its founder, Master Yan Yongchun. Under his guidance, another noted martial arts master, Liang Zan, established schools in Foshan, where he taught a number of apprentices. In this way, world-famous Wing Chun can trace its origins back to Fu Shan. So we, 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 There's like a slogan, you know, for the stand. You can see it's wrong, right? If I use it, I can use it like this. 如果是你的步子太大的话，就移动没那么快。啊，如果你太太太小的话，你移动也没力量，也不够快。所以看到这个马步，嗯，哎哎，咏春很有可能就是咏春拳。看这个马步是，肯定是咏春拳。The signs behind every move makes Wing Chun suitable for actual combat. It's known for its fast strikes and tight defense. The horse stance provides perfect flexibility in movement and good support for an attack. Wing Chun is calibrated to offer a happy medium between attack and defense, and its core is the balance of soft and rigid movements that generates optimum power efficiency. Dong 老师，我非常好奇啊，就是这个咏春拳里面有没有一些基础的？拳法之类的，咏春拳呢，它有三个套路，一个不能装套路，初级的套路是小念头，入门的一个套路。嗯哼。那么小念头之后呢，还有一个弦桥，还有一个标准套路，升级一点的嘛，类似是升级这样子的。嗯哼。啊，我咏春有一个说法啊，练小念头是念头正，终身正。哦，明白，就好像是房子的根基一样。对对。所以品德其实比那个技巧什么的更重要对对对对。小念头里面的。动作手法都是咏春的一些基础手法啊，比如说汤、绑、扶，都是在里面、嗯。所以你如果这些手法你没练好的话，你去先练别的，嗯、那么就相当于刚才说啊、呃，万丈高楼平地起，你地基都已经不稳了，对，你达不到高的层次。Every move in Wing Chun comprises a combination of strength and softness. Also. Through the fusion of heart and mind, it embraces the tradition and wisdom of martial arts.
，这里呢用这个科学技术的手段，结合起来来传播非遗永存权。哦，他是是怎么做的？他用动捕动作捕捉，就在这里是吧？在这里看一看，对，快看一下。哇，对，这网上的都是摄像头啊！您好，哎，哎，老师好，哎，这是什么样的一个高科技啊？这是一个呃动作捕捉的一个实验室。我听说好像这个是可以，就是在三维空间里面捕捉到每一个动作。我们刚才也在看。穿上这个呃冬暖服以后呢，然后把它动作捕捉下来以后， uh -huh. 呃，就把它导入我们的呃软件，呃，最后就变成模型啊、oh. 呃。你看到动漫就是这个。那你们捕捉到了这么多信息啊？最大的用处是什么？是怎么用？我们这个大学呢，还是广东省的一个非物质文化遗产研究基地。嗯啊，其中就是研究一个非遗的一个保护。嗯、啊、首先是做好保护，所以我们会建立一个呃动作的资源库。嗯啊，这个是保护一个很重要的一个、呃、做法。以后，比如说他们想要一个角色，对，可以把它直接调出来，他打的呃动作直接就可以呃套上呃另外一个人可以用。好。它这个可以全方位的去去看到它，手脚各个方面，然后你可以可以俯视是吧？对，可以侧面看、嗯、左右看，而且你可以停住来。刚才我们看到的只是点对吧？对，这一部分已经是我看是连起来了。嗯、对。这个就是呃，刚才呃捕捉这个呃信各个点的信息以后呢、嗯，我们再从后台处理，就把各个点啊从头部，你看它的手背、嗯、身体啊，全部到腿部到脚，啊、就把它串成点了。对,对,对那你就可以看到呃，很接近一个人的这个初步的一个呃骨架模型。三步才可以看到我们的一个人物在里面，对吧？对对对。对，现在是正面，正面对吧？嗯，其实虽然我们看到的是点，但是我们的脑子会好像是自动把把它会弄成一嗯,嗯一个人，对不对？对。When we talk about different styles of Wing Chun, it's all about you know some are softer, some are you know more firm. But when you come to this system, you can really see like the slight differences. And like the angles when people stand, or and how they you know put their feet around and stuff, so you can get to more details and the differences of the style. And it's it's just such a great information for people who are researching the styles and Wing Chun. It's just such a great help for everyone. Just amazing. Wing Chun is being popularized in so many innovative ways. Did my research on Wing Chun, I ran into this video, where there was a game character that was modeled after an intangible cultural inheritor of Wing Chun, and she was absolutely amazing. That's why I uh, set up a date with her in Guangzhou, and I'm meeting her in a minute. So let us discover Wing Chun in a different light. <laughs> Dong Wei, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Wow, you know, I first saw your video on YouTube, I thought, wow, so cool. Thank you. Then you, 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 you,
穿插着那个游戏的画面，对，非常帅气。谢谢谢谢。这是一个角色，嗯哼，这个是游戏。里面呢，他以非遗的一个项目去创了一个新的角色啊，那个角色叫咏春是吧？就叫咏春，对。Working with a gaming company, Huang Dongwei combined Wing Chun with an anime style popular in China. The result has proved enormously successful, making this traditional martial art accessible to a younger generation in a new way. They want to do a Wing Chun character, so they want to ensure that every movement, every attack, is done according to the traditional way of doing it. 对对对，因为他们做这个联动的时候呢，非常的尊重我们的意见。他们首先会听取我们的。他们首先会听取我们的，呃，要求，然后他们会起一些内容，就是希望通过游戏可以把呃非遗的一些内容，或者是咏春拳这个角色的内容传递给青少年。It, it's really smart because I remember when I was a kid, I was playing those games, and I would remember thousands of words and things. And if I was learning about Wing Chun, you know, I would learn so much more. Ah, wasted my time so much. Huang Dongwei was born to a family of Kung Fu practitioners. Her father, Grandmaster Huang Yanyi, started teaching her Wing Chun when she was just four. When it was time to go to university, she chose a management major, thinking she could make learning Wing Chun more systematic and scientific. <laughs> Yongwen what is the thing that really attracts you in Wing Chun? I think that it's also a way to protect yourself and mm -hmm. doing exercise. There's different kinds of sport. Martial arts, you know, sometimes it's dangerous. Do you actually love the feeling of like, you know, the fight and stuff? Um, it's not just the feeling of the fight. It's just different from other sports like doing uh. long jump or something like that. Do you think your learning Yong Chun Quan is the biggest benefit? The biggest benefit is to learn the Wu-Dee, and to make yourself more bright. Oh, how do you make yourself more bright? It's like a family relationship, like a family relationship. And everyone will help each other. I want to ask you, when you get this level, do you think which part of the learning is the most difficult? The Wu-Dee to the Wu-Dee is the most difficult. Why do you think so? Because you have to have confidence, and you have to open your mouth. 哦，就是要架空的，对，这个就是难度。Oh no! Wow. Besides teaching daily classes, Huang Dongwei still practices Wing Chun with her father. After talking to him, I came to realize why Huang Dongwei is so eager to try new ways of popularizing Wing Chun. It turns out that he. The revered grandmaster is quite open-minded and is fond of modern culture. I heard you and your daughter have a lot of new ways to promote the culture. You and your daughter will be able to promote the culture and the culture of the Chinese culture, and the culture of the Chinese culture.
。你怎么看这些事情啊？跟武术完全没有相关的东西啊？没关系啊，什么人愿意推广传统文化，什么人愿意推广咏春拳，我都愿意。Shan holds various annual activities related to Wing Chun and its culture. They include the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Wing Chun Elite Exchange Competition and the World Wing Chun Championship. They attract thousands of people who come to learn from one another and make new friends. These learning learning Wing Chun Quan's spirit, which is the Chinese Wing Chun, is found in every person. 
couple of friends, we're actually trying to bring this outside, make the world know what true Kung Fu is. Mm. You know? The people have about Kung Fu outside China mm -hmm. is very different from what Kung Fu truly yeah, is, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. in a way. And if you have the uh, true passion to really mm -hmm. go through uh, understanding everything behind it, but it's a very hard process. Yeah. And how many people will do that? Dedicate their own life 24-7 to do that. Yeah, so you're like a Let's bridge. Try. I'm a bridge between the two worlds. I really want the foreigner to see the beauty behind it. After a pleasant chat with Glaber, he took me to his Wushu Center. There, I met a lot of Wing Chun enthusiasts from all over the world. So what exactly? is the global appeal of Wing Chun. People from different parts of the world probably uh, yeah, come and sure. train Wing Chun? Yes. Kung Fu really has this power to connect to the people. And I think that really is a very treasure of uh, the Chinese culture. Wing Chun is very different from different styles because it's very technical and like sometimes like the two centimeters makes all the difference like um, the way you position your body you and everything an, an and I, I think I really enjoy that side of sort of like it's like a kind of like a puzzle it's like, like two like, centimeters like the sometimes angle. it's like depends where your elbow is sometimes it depends where your shoulders are and yeah I actually want to be a part of this club now. <laughs> it feels so cozy. Even though they're coming from different countries, they come here, they practice together, and they feel connected. We remove the hand, and this one, watch how you go here, and you do the lap up. You know, Kung Fu is still kind of like related to fighting. You know, there is this kind of violence inside you want to get you know when you get in front of somebody you need to find Peaceful that kind of first i would say to find your peace your inner peace in the violence itself mm. to bring the violence down I enjoyed every single moment of this episode. Just learning the stories made me realize that Wing Chun is not just martial art. It's like a window through which people can come and understand more about China and then fall in love with China. And after learning so much about Wing Chun, I myself want to become a Bruce Lee one day. Images may appear to be identical, but looks can be deceiving. The difference is not always obvious. It has to be discovered. There are always different sides to a story. We put the focus on the details. To see more, to understand better. CGTN. See the difference.